Welcome back to Big Board. So I thought it would be uh, worthwhile recapping this scenario. Moore's Test is the name of the scenario, and it's obviously World of War 85. And it's uh, one of the scenarios from the expansion module. So, uh, excuse me, so uh, in my strategy, pre-game strategy, I suggested that uh, one of the options was bringing the tanks down this main road, bringing the <coughs> motorized infantry down this road, and then capturing this city or town and exiting units here. And in the victory conditions uh, discussion, I mentioned that you need to get seven of these units off from this particular formation, when in fact it was seven units off altogether, which we picked up on about turn seven or turn eight or something like that, because I was uh, beginning to wonder if I was going to make it. <clears throat> and it was actually any seven units except for the transportation vehicles. Uh, sorry about the lighting, but it is what it is. Uh, so what happened? Well, uh, opening move, the, the Czech forces got down to here. They got uh, their initial free move and then uh, the first car drawn was for them. So they got down to here and that was all great. But then next turn, they didn't get an activation and these guys all got to activate and they reoriented a little bit while the uh, Czech forces indeed did come down this road. And in the next uh, couple of turns, these guys failed to activate again. And then uh, when they did activate, they tried to close here at great expense. As you can see, there's three lost vehicles here. That's a dead vehicle markers, wreck markers. Uh, they managed to take a step off this guy here, but that was about it. So the T-55s uh, didn't fare well against this, this Leo. And they also took fire from here across into, into this area here. There's a line of sight from there to there. So that, uh, that played a little bit of havoc. Now, the infantry forces coming down this road, dismounted around this area, started progressing this way, went around. And that's when, at about turn six or seven, that's when the double uh, early end turn thing started popping up. So we got one, and I think there was only one activation for the Germans, West Germans, and no activations for the Czech side. So we put pulled both of these out, <clears throat> ran the cards again. We got one activation for these guys here, none for the tanks, and only one for these guys before we ended up pulling two more of these. And that happened... Uh, two more times in such that uh, the either one or the other or both of the Czech forces did not get an activation. And I guess I didn't factor that many uh, early ending turns into the equation here for, for the, uh, the attempt to exit the forces off here. Because these guys are actually quite tough because they have 88 millimeter recoilless rifles and uh, these engineers... Assault, uh, three dice on uh, three or better. And there's some uh, anti-tank guns in here somewhere that they had. Uh, so they were, they're quite quite punchy for a little uh, infantry, you know, combat formation. And they started to wear down. You know, we lost a step here. They started to wear these guys down, but not fast enough. And they really just couldn't get the right sequence of activations and the right, the right forces in play. Given the stacking restrictions, you know, we, we just we just didn't do a good job of getting in position so we could assault the township. And once you clear the township, that went that would then allow an exit. And then the spoiler move by the West Germans was they propped a you know a martyr on the exit hex. So that block literally blocked the road. So if you wanted to go off here, you had to clear that hex. Now they did do it, but that took an extra turn. We got the, to the end of turn 11 and we realized there was no way in one turn we were going to get seven units off the board and clear these two hexes for the, to, for the win. So we called it at the, uh, well, actually about halfway through the, the uh, 11th turn, I believe is what we did. So uh, I'm not, not sure it wasn't a good strategy 
but I certainly think we need to be more assertive with the checks and we have to assault the city or the township early earlier which may mean running the gauntlet of coming down this road and taking the uh, AP fire from you know a hefty number of units very reluctant to do that I'm, I'm probably more inclined maybe to bring both formations in on one location uh, and then and then do the assault if we have to you know ideally you know if you were going to follow the tactical doctrine of the Soviets you probably going to park the Germans somewhere, park the Germans, park the Soviets, the, the Warsaw Pact forces back here somewhere, let the assault happen, and then have them come through and either clean up or go around, you know, because you want your armor bypassing and going through, and you're deploying, deploying and flanking, uh, flanking these guys and then fixing them and then finishing them off, right? Anyway, just my two cents on, on that particular scenario. I might try and set up again, or I might just move on to the second scenario in the game in the little mini campaign, and we'll see what happens. So either way, it might be fun. So we'll talk to you soon.